Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and touch that little notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Something new I need to be saying. And with that said, I've got a nice little rumor to go ahead and grade for you all. And I definitely welcome your input. So let's get on down to what we have in front of us. This person says, hello guys, I'm here again. And it just says anonymous, so okay. I will provide new information about the Super Smash Brothers DLC content. Don't wait. Info for the announcement date, okay? Or trailer descriptions, cause I don't know it. First, as I said, Steve from Minecraft is getting into the game along with the Ender Dragon as a boss, but I was wrong with the Ender Dragon because he's not getting into, okay? He's just getting referenced by Rathalos in the classic mode if you pick up Steve. Anyways, here's the info about the content that you'll receive for each character as DLC. The character, of course, with seven alt skin colors, one stage with hazard. This stage includes Omega and Battlefield form, obviously. About 10 music tracks miscellaneous stuff like spirits character information and menus all-star mode references etc by the way if you probably already know the dlc characters but here are again with their respective stage steve with extreme heels monster hunter with jurassic frontier gino with forest maze banjo and kazooie mumbo's mountain phoenix wright district court along with this here are the new me fighters outfits that will be launched as dlc first wave Grand Marcio, set as Gunner, Chun-Li as a brawler, Alm as a sword fighter, Lucha Libre, set as brawler, uh, Tethu as a sword fighter, Golden Fish as a gunner, and this is the Lucha Libre set, are also those generic outfits created only for Smash. This grammar's kind of rough. I don't know about the second wave yet, the last information that I have is the DLC stages. Poke Floats for Melee, Distortion Wood from Pokemon Platinum, Rainbow Road from 3DS, and probably they will add more stages in the future, but this are the first ones. Anyways, this all, <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh. That's all I already know for now. I'll provide more information as soon as I got. <laughs> Stop, I'm Wrath. See you the next year. <laughs> Stop. I didn't mean to laugh. I'm so sorry. That kind of, that kills it. Because um, you never know. Uh, not everybody on earth, you know, English is their their native language. So I, it can be forgiven. But it just, it, it gives me that does Bruno Mars is gay kind of. <laughs> I love it. It's really great. Anyways, all right, so let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and dissect this. So at the top of this list, we have Minecraft Steve sitting pretty. So once again, somebody else is saying that Steve is going to be in Smash Brothers. I find it interesting because I honestly believe that the Ender Dragon could be in as a boss more so over than Steve. But admittedly, I am very biased here. I yeah, I kind of don't want it, as you've probably seen from other videos. Are you okay? Mm, I'm fine. I just uh, threw up in my mouth a little bit. And as I continue to follow Virgin, I still don't hear or get any information that would allude into another way. He's been very shaky on it. I would say it's not necessarily any kind of bullseye that we're going to be getting from Virgin anytime soon, or you never know. But yeah, picture this, picture Steve being playable as a bullseye and Virgin Ben is trying to hit that bullseye. So far, he's really just been hitting around it to where, oh, it's this or it's that or like going away from the epicenter. Oh, there's going to be some representation of, of Minecraft in Smash Brothers. Okay, there's a boss and, you know, so on and so forth. He's not quite hitting that bullseye at all. So with that out of the way and the all the data mining that's been done that's out of the way, I, yeah, it's, it's up in the air. I mean, there's really nothing else that you can honestly say. There's no evidence or anything that makes this any more different than, than previous mentions of him. 
Uh, as far as the, the alt skins, I mean, that's fine. That's understandable. I mean, that's nothing really. He mentions other basic stuff like Omega Battlefield. Who really cares about that? Because that that's a given. 10 music tracks? Uh, I don't think they're all going to be straight up 10. So already a red flag for me there. I, I don't. And some of them you can get more. I feel like some of them you're going to get. Obvious, Nintendo's obviously going to get more than 10. Some of them they're going to get less than 10. And definitely not going to be a set amount because you got to deal with, you know, people like Square Enix. So. And I, I guess you could put the music issues, the legality with music. You can put that on a spectrum. You can put that uh, between, it would be pretty chill, uh, Way For It and the makers of Shantae, which would probably, at this point, <laughs> they would probably give Smash Brothers the entire OST for Shantae. Like, I'm not even kidding. I wouldn't be, I'd be fine with it, but they they would. They would give them the kitchen sink and, and way for studios and everything uh, to the, on the very opposite end, which is the tight anal Square Enix who they probably have seven lawyers present and like three music producers be like, let's make sure before we give you this one track, nobody gives a crap about. You gotta make sure we get it in right. And even though everybody's the most familiar with Nintendo in the world, we gotta make sure like just it's stupid i god I, I hate square with that nonsense it's so dumb anyways enough of me harping on something i've already harped on thirty thousand times in the past monster hunter so here's the deal and i'm probably going to to mention it in another video too because it's something i did want to cover as far as the whole data mining thing there appears to be some evidence that monster hunter could come but based off of the file types, I mean, I only know so much about files too, but based off of the file types, it's possible that it's not that they're going to be in there. It's that they may, or at least a Monster Hunter fighter could have been cut. I uh, kind of like how you have uh, like in previous iterations of Smash to where there's remnants of characters like the whole, like say for instance, uh, the the raw forest or or I forget the name of the the mushroom forest but where the where the mush anyways uh, Mario RPG that the lost track with Gino and all the other good stuff I mean there's ass it's left of other characters that should have should have been in the game but they got cut uh, that are left in the game so this could be the same thing and I feel like don't get me wrong I would love to have a monster hunter in the game I think it would be really cool or if you could do like a have like a, a me brawler i mean a me fighter situation to where you have because you know monster hunter has different weapons that you can use i would love to have a i mean that's too much to ask really but capcom does work pretty closely with nintendo uh but i still highly doubt it even with that you know really on its side i would love to see like a hammer user and a crossbow user and a spear user or or a sword user a hammer user just you know mix and match i think that would be really awesome the image in front of me right now it's going to take me some time to dig it up because unfortunately i didn't save it uh i i'm really going to have to look for it but yeah based off of the way the files looked it really just looked like i mean you can't tell if it's just something that's going to be added in the game or not but I honestly, the the matter of fact, too, here's another thing, too. The history of Nintendo and people trying to data mine, especially in Smash Brothers 2, I don't feel like they would leave files like that just open. Kind of like how they did the whole, you know, character slots have like Mario and Mario 2 and all that in there. I don't feel like they would openly have the names and stuff like that in there to be viewable. So... I think, and this is just my opinion right now, take it for what you will, I feel like it's more of characters that probably have been cut. And here's another thing too, Rathalos being in the game by itself is a little weird. Now granted you got Fatal Frame, cause so you can make the same argument to where, well, why you don't have a playable character in there? I mean, you can have both of them. It just feels really peculiar. And not only that, Rathalos has its own stage. It just, it screams out, there was supposed to be a character there. It, it screams it out. Is it, does that mean there was gonna be one there? No, cause you know, Sakurai's a madman, so. 
as much as it makes sense on paper, it's probably not the case, as frustrating as that is. But you just just think about it. Think think about it yourself. Don't even just take it from me. How when you saw that Rathalos and the that Monster Hunter stage, did you not feel like there was going to be a playable character there? Just not just because of expectations, but more so just the vibe of the stage itself, just the vibe of how it opened. It just feels like it. If one, it feels like it was going to be in a story mode. And two, it felt like there should be a character there. But I mean, it's possible it could have been cut. Characters get cut. Dixie Kong, for some unknown reason, has been cut. Uh, I, although I don't know about this time, but just in the past. And it's like, why? Anyways, I just wanted to make that distinction because I know that's something that's been going around because of the data mining. Um, but in my you know, my limited knowledge of files and, and, and programming and all that stuff, I feel like they might have just left it in. And I don't, from a business standpoint and from a I've dealt with data miners before standpoint, I'm not going to leave it to where you can easily get the names to figure stuff out. I'm just not. I'm going to do what they've done before, which is Mario 1, Mario 2, and, and all that other good stuff. And then the other placeholders that they have in there already. So, Keep that in mind with the whole Monster Hunter deal, because I know that's going to come up eventually, whether it be Papa Gino probably covers it or Billy or, you know, Lax. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, actually, I don't think Lax will go into detail like that. So, well, the other two. Anyhow, uh, moving on, because I spent too much time on that. Banjo-Kazooie, you already know, and Gino, you guys know how I feel about that. Tell you the truth, in all honesty, another standpoint that I'm going to take, too, is... Considering the time frame that it takes to negotiate with third parties, I feel like bare minimum Nintendo would have maybe two best case scenario, in my opinion, two first party characters and then three third party characters is what I would like to see. I doubt I will, but it makes the most sense because you can easily if you own it, bam, I'm going to do it. Bam, I'm going to do it. Done, done, done. Uh, no red tape or anything, but I feel like later, like say for instance, after you get your two characters, which probably will be first party, because of the time it takes to negotiate other characters getting into Smash Brothers, I feel like more than likely you're going to get your third parties to come later on. Like, I, and again, I'm hoping three, but it just makes from a negotiation standpoint, it just makes the most sense. That way, you're not in limbo waiting on them when you can already be developing your first party, especially things that you know will bring you money over time. So if I was if I was a hit a big wig at Nintendo, that's exactly what I would do. Uh but yes, this I love this roster. Oh I except for Steve. I love the roster. <laughs> because Monster Hunter again awesome. Gino's my boy Banjo kazooie Ah I need them in my life. And Phoenix Wright, I would love to have Phoenix Wright. It's not like my, like, I want, I campaign for this character, but I would be completely happy with Phoenix Wright getting into Smash Brothers. I think it'd be very unique, very cool. Give me that whole Capcom, uh, Marvel, I mean, not Marvel, but, uh, it's a, yeah, it is Marvel. Marvel versus Capcom 3 kind of vibe to it. I would absolutely love uh, Phoenix Wright getting into there. Uh, because I love the unique fights, the move sets, and all that. And anyways, continue on. There's no reason or anything to believe Phoenix Wright is in there, but I just I love that fact. Uh, the whole now the Me Fighters thing, I think this is pretty interesting. Uh, Grand Macau, I don't know what they're referring to with Grand Macau. I don't know what game that is actually from, uh, but I do love the. I would love, 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 love because I don't expect another awesome fighter from like street fight or anything but i would love it i guess if anybody it would be akuma i mean there there's so many iconic street fighters that it's really it's really hard to say but i would love to see chun li at least as a me fighter brawler that would be awesome uh oh grandma cow it's uh, that's um it's it's in the monster hunter demo it's that stupid little <laughs> that little thing i hate that thing so much anyways <laughs> that's what that is so yeah i can see them dressing that up in like a little cute animal outfit that makes me want to beat its ass 
Um, yeah, I'm down with that. Alm, I think is from I think it's from Fire Emblem. You know they got to shoehorn some Fire Emblem in there, so no no evidence of it. But I wouldn't even argue with it at all because it feels painfully, painfully, painfully likely. Not not against it, but it'd be likely. The Lucha Libre thing, I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. I, I did want Incineroar at first, really pissed off because I really wanted Decidueye. As I'm sure a lot of people did, Decidueye is the most popular between the two. But Incineroar looks really fun. Playing a wrestler looks like it would be really fun. I'm completely down with a Lucha Libre. It, it, but granted, he probably wouldn't have Lucha Libre moves, which sucks. I, that If you made it to where it could be a wrestler, oh. that <laughs> would be... is this? Oh my God, I love that so much. I'm... I'm kind of loving this this whole this this leak that you know quote unquote. I'm loving this. Um, well, <laughs> lost my train of thought. All right, we got it back. Um, Tethu, I don't know much about this. I think this is from the Tethu is from the Monster Hunter. That little small, I think it's like a side side game or something of Monster Hunter. It was this cutesy Monster Hunter game, I think. Um, or I don't know, was it? Tethu's this really cute looking thing. I just, I can't remember what the heck it's from. Or no, actually, I think it's, it's from Ever Oasis or something like that. But on the flip side of that, if you were to believe this, like say, if you did jump and say, oh, this leak is real, uh, then you would go under the notions that spirits don't deconfirm characters me personally not even because this list i i just don't see spirits with there being so many and just the i mean i wouldn't put so much of an emphasis on it now granted sakura did say that like for instance with mewtwo and lucas uh they got in because they were pre in previous installments of smash brothers i just i don't know it just it would be such a massive scale of deconfirmation but with the disillusionment of the whole box theory thing, if you look at what characters are, aren't, like, say, for instance, I think the best way to prove this whole spirits thing and not, because I don't think Sakurai is going to actually come out and say it, is I we'd have to wait for, like, the first maybe one or two uh, DLCs to actually come out so we can really be like okay so it's very likely i mean it's not going to be 100 percent because nobody's going to know till you know the end because nintendo decides and nintendo's decisions supersede you know with the basis of a spirit like you can say oh it just deconfirms it that very well may be the case but if nintendo says hey i want this spirit to be a character if sakurai can make it a character boom it's going to be a character i mean that's end of story like Nintendo, like, uh, CEOs and executives don't give a crap about, oh, your little game rules. Ooh. Like, they don't give a crap about that. So keep that in mind as well. But, yeah, that's, I would say that would, well, then again, I'm tripping. Why, why did I even, I mentioned that. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good point. But I forgot that Tethu is, I, I don't know why. I just thought about it being a playable character like a moron. Anyways, uh, because you are a moron. Anyways, um, Tethu as a, a, a me fighter would actually be pretty cool. Golden Fish. I got to remember what Golden Fish is from. Is it from the same game? Or is it just... No. Is it from Hanenbo? I don't know. Anyways, I, a Golden Fish. Um, I don't... Oh. Oh, generic out. Okay, generic. It's a generic out. He said a generic. Okay. Okay. So Lucha Libre, generic. Gotcha. Uh, Poke Floats has been mentioned so many times in these fake leaks. I I don't even I kind of don't even care about Poke Floats anymore. You either love you either like Poke Floats or you hate it. I'm kind of just over Poke Floats now. Distortion World would be kind of cool, I guess. Not really really feeling that. Rainbow Road by far out of this little you know DLC stages thing is my favorite. Uh, but. <laughs> biggest thing here that i would say is um if you have a fighter pass then the stages should come well the I'll, i guess the stages i guess they do have this I, 
I guess you could have DLC stages because they did say they were going to report it a la kind of like uh, but I think and hope like Splatoon 2 and the way that it's gotten all that constant support so just like how you, I feel like you can have echoes on the side I feel like you can just as easily have you know downloadable stages on the side I really hope they do something like that Splatoon has spoiled people with the the quality of the constant updates I I don't think I've ever really seen a game get as many quality updates as I've seen Splatoon 2. And I don't even play it that much, but it's so great how they treat their, aside from the, the more, I was about to say something else, uh, the moronic way of, oh, you can't do cloud saving, which is stupid because other companies have easily figured out how to do cloud saves, but Nintendo being that weird kid in the corner of the classroom is like, nah, I'm not gonna look on your paper. I'm gonna do it my way. You know, you gotta you be upright, an upright citizen. Like, just cheat, man. They cheat off of you, cheat off of them. And and do it. It's so dumb. Anyways, rant over. Uh, <laughs> but I really do. I really hope they do their deal, like Smash Brothers DLC like that. I think it's only fitting. If you wanna keep up this air of quality, then it's only fitting, especially if you know out of millions of your fans that a lot of us are going to end up spending over a hundred dollars on one game. Right now, it's a hell of a deal. It's so much content for just sixty bucks; it's unreal. But considering the fact with DLC on the way, and N Nintendo knows better. Nintendo does dumb crap, but they know they can just bleed us dry. They know it. They know it. We're, we're cucks for you, Nintendo, and you know this. Um, we are easily going to spend over a hundred bucks on this. I really hope they keep the updates coming, but that, that'd be me. I would do it as a CEO. Cause it's the one, it's the right thing to do. And two, you know, keep that goodwill. I think goodwill has such monetary value when it comes to any kind of business. Like if people like you and you treat them well in the long run, I really think that that does well for you. And the, <laughs> from my own personal experience, I can't really say that. But since I'm a nobody, you know, it exactly the experiences kind of vary, I guess you could say. But nevertheless, man, or I say man, like it's a specific person. Uh, <laughs> so the three of you that made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you did make it to the end, I would say consider, you know, joining my Patreon. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have a lot of perks after a while for Patreon. Starts at like a dollar a month. Uh, I'll eventually be able to do live streams with patrons. I'll I'll do Let's Plays with patrons. I think that'd be pretty awesome, pretty fun. Uh, I'll be able to eventually do giveaways and stuff too with it. Uh, I kind of broke right now, so kind of can't, but <laughs> it would be really great when things get going. I think it'll be a lot of fun and I hopefully I can make a lot of people happy with it. I if you don't want to do anything with that, that's completely fine. Uh, but if you do want to support somebody, definitely consider visiting threadiverse.com. It does help me as well, but it also helps independent digital artists who make some amazing stuff who don't get discovered or anything, who, you know, they have to struggle and, you know, have to work hard to get stuff done like me. And they're really amazing. They really deserve to get some kind of spotlight. Even if you don't buy anything, that's fine. Just check out the store, see all the different designs in there. They're at the bare minimum. They're so cool. They're definitely worth a looky-loo. Uh, but with that said, again, thank you so much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of it. As always, I check the comments and I do, I really do enjoy taking the discussion further with you guys. I really do enjoy talking with you. Again, thank you so much. I got so, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But thank you so much for spending time out of your day with me. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a good day. Smash is around the corner. If you can get it, when you can get it, I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, take it sleazy. And to take it back to high school. Also, you're getting a Fire Emblem Three Houses rep and a Pokemon <laughs> Gen 8 rep. <laughs>